so many climbers could climb much harder than they think. So, 7A? No. <laughs> much harder. I think you can climb like 7B. <laughs> this is Hana. What's the hardest route you've climbed? Outdoors? Yeah. 6B or 6B plus. I told her, hey, come to Spain and you will climb a 7B. And of course, she laughed at me. But she came. Good morning. We need quick draws on the road. Which road? Uh, 7B. Look yourself. <laughs> And then we had 10 days to do this. Yeah, she decided to climb a 7B. No, 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 he decided that I need to climb a 7B. And you... Both of you decided for me to climb 7B? No, 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 we decided for you to climb 8A. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, but I hate you more. So in 10 days you won't get stronger, but you can get wiser. Can you say a butterfly in German? Schmetterling. <laughs> Okay, come on, let's go climbing. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> and so we went to find a 7B. Which one is mine? <laughs> of these monstrums? <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, like most of the 6B-ish climbers, she was afraid to fall. Okay, I shit in my pants. No, 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 no shitting in the pants. <laughs> You shit in that little... It's impossible to project anything with that state of mind. So we spent two days massaging her fears. <sighs> nice, that was a good one. Good job. In case you missed it, I made a separate video about that. You can find the link in the description. And remember that poll that I made? Let's do a voting. How much you were afraid? Turns out only very small percentage of you were lying. But look at demographics. So if you're a dude and you're afraid to fall, don't feel lonely anymore. And I don't know why there is a disclaimer here. You are crazy, this is f***ing cold. So after two days of falling, Hannah was getting way more comfortable and it was time to enter the level that so many climbers avoid. Schmetterling. Schmetterling. I found the perfect route for you. Which one? Uh, it's a 7A, it's only 40 meters long. 40? 40. Ah, only? Anything else about this route? <laughs> no, let's go. Now, by projecting hard, I don't mean spending months on a single route. Leave that stuff for pros. After months of trying it, Adam started getting really close. My strategy is very simple. If I fail on a route multiple times in a row, I ask myself two questions. Did I make any improvements in the last attempts? And did I actually had fun? And if I answer no to both of these questions, it's time to move on. Enjoying the approach? Yeah, it's exhausting. It's the uh, first crux of your project. <laughs> Thanks. Every single move will be as hard as this. Oh, no, you're lying. <sighs> Fancy pansy. Now, what comes to choosing a difficulty for the route, it's quite normal to red point about two grades harder than your on-site level. Welcome to Chulia. Thank you. This is pretty high. What's the problem with the height? My fear. Height and falling in this height. Cool. So, cool. So 40 meters. No, not cool. She sent some 6B, 6B pluses in the past, at two grades and we arrive at 7A. Now you might be thinking, no way I can climb that much harder. I am, and insert your excuse. But for now, just ignore all of that. Interesting. There's no shock at all on this route. <laughs> Why? Also, if you are not crazy strong at bouldering, avoid so-called one-move wonders. Routes that have only short hard sections and the rest of the route is easy. Because routes in climbing are graded by overall difficulty. For example, if you have a very short 7A, it's very likely that it's gonna be like a 7A boulder. But if you have a long 7A, it's possible that individual moves will be much easier. So just climb easy hard routes. <sighs> Cannot decide who goes first. There is a battle. Everybody wants to climb now. <laughs> <laughs> don't fight, guys. Don't fight. We're on holidays. <laughs> yeah, don't start fighting on holidays. No, we won't. Mm. We won't. 
Toby, let's go. And be careful when choosing somebody's recommendations. It's so common to see somebody struggle like crazy on the road and then he goes down and says, oh, this was the best route, you have to try it. Let's share the pain. <sighs> Why are you stressed while hanging on the ground? <laughs> because I know what will happen soon. What? What will happen? Tell me. I'm gonna climb, I'm gonna get shaky legs. And what's your plan to do with that? To accept this feeling. Yes. With serenity. And maybe do some test falls. Yes. To see that nothing will happen to me. Here I told Hannah and I'm telling you, you don't need to be fearless to climb hard. In fact, projecting hard roots is probably the best way to get rid of your fear of falling. Could you take this? <laughs> Okay, I think this will work. No! But I have to close it. No. Okay, it's closed. Best uh, carbiner for green I think so. Yeah. It fits perfectly through the holes. Super light. It's a hard recommendation to everybody. Just. It's from China! Don't do this. Ooh. Just go until it gets dark. Yeah! Some I guess I'm using a real carabiner, okay? Thank you. Not this Thank shitty. Uh, something is wrong with the rope clip. Yeah, okay. Nice. Okay, done. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the biggest mistake people do when approaching hard climbs is going all in on a first attempt. You won't find the best halt. In some situations you might get scared. That will make you overgrip everything. You will get pumped, you will fail, and then you will think like, holy this is impossible. Well then, you will be able to clip from here. You have to be a little bit more strategic. Since this was a first 7A for Hana, I told her just go and play on it. Identify the hard sections and get comfortable falling on them. Do the move and slap the wall. And fall? Yeah, just slap the wall higher up. Try to do the move. Slap and fall. If you're projecting something hard and you need to like do a couple of moves and then clip and you're afraid, do one move, touch the wall, fall. Yeah, don't don't climb more, fall here. Okay. Okay. How was that? Completely okay. You will climb back to the same situation. You will feel much better. If not, do again. The same thing. Touch the wall, fall. Okay. You feel good? Yeah. Once you are feeling way better in that situation, do two moves, touch the wall, fall. And even if I manage to do the moves, I need to let go? Yes. Yes, and this is very, very important. <sighs> if you hang on the rope and then somehow you manage to do the crux moves with little fear inside you, congratulations. But this is not gonna help you to climb relaxed on your sending attempt. Fun actually. You're having fun? Yeah. You will arrive at the crux, you will be tired, and that little fear will become a panic because you never took a fall here before. Here you go, you did the crux. Yeah, and after the crux is easy. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very nice route and I'm able to send it. I can swing you. Right, so Wait, now let go. Oh no! <laughs> what? So how, how was your fear? Um, nearly gone. I was telling myself that I'm able to do this. Did the test falls help you? Yeah, a lot. How Nothing did? happened. I didn't crash the wall that hard, thanks to my belayer. <laughs> was it easier to climb the same section after you do falls? Yes, but mm. it was a little bit hard to remember how I ended up there. I so did you need three to... times a different way, I think. So after fear of falling, you will need to work on memory. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And finishing mm -hmm. the topic of fear of falling, I wanted to add that harder roots are safer to fall. They are steeper and the bolts are closer. And this is especially true on old school crags, where some of the easy routes can be insanely run out. And then you ask strong climbers, hey, how do you fall here? And they will answer, you don't. Beautifying before your carry project. Yes. I learned that it's 30% difference. When you feel beauty, you can climb 30% better. Let's go. Roar. 
<laughs> Just because I'm carrying all the stuff. Yeah. I like this lens. You look super skinny. I am super skinny. So the previous day Hannah got comfortable falling on the road and now it was time to learn the moves. And to help her I climbed myself first. Hannah Banana is trying her first 7A Tufa style 7A. Lots of pinches and body positioning. Come on. There's nothing. Nice. This route was a horrible choice for the first 7A. It's so hard to read. There was almost no obvious holds. Where's the next hold? There's nothing. But... It's all about body positioning, all about pushing, pulling. Uh -huh. This is fucking cool. Yeah. Right leg onto the tooth on the right. If you can. No! Take Toby, take! Up this! Thank you. Right See, leg there. Yeah, yep. So this fucking thing is my hold. Climbing! Okay, press the solution. Crimp that. Shoulder here. And again, there's nothing. Oh. pushing, pulling and requires techniques that we almost don't train indoors. Wow, you're killing it. Oops, but she said that she liked the route, so that's all that matters. Pull the move again. No. Relax. You're next to the quadro. Look at your feet. All of this lower shit is very good for the feet. Which one? Uh. Below the quick drum. Yeah. Right hand into my undercling and then to the jab. Yeah. Can I trust this? Yeah. Okay. Jab. Yeah. After this point, the route gets easier and it's super beautiful 3D climbing. No. 
How do you feel? Amazing! This part was so much fun! Now you can look down. Whoa, oh, oh, no, better not! Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, ow! Woo! What the f***? <laughs> <laughs> the route is not hard. Beside this middle section with the two fast and slopers, the rest is easy for me. So here you go, that's what happens when you start climbing harder. The second half of the route could be like 6B-ish, and that's what she used to climb before. And now she's calling this easy. So now no falling. No, hopefully not. The fear of falling game is over now. It's time to send your first 70 it's time outdoors. to remember this beta, which I never found, <laughs> but okay. Okay, I have to mention this. Only while editing I noticed that her quick draw was twisted and what seemed to be a good clip when she was clipping ended up being a back clip. Meaning the climber's end of the rope goes from behind of the quick draw close to the wall. And this is dangerous because when you climb up and you take a fall it's possible that it will unclip. So while climbing be aware of the twist in the sling. And if it's twisted, fix it first, then clip, and then there is no way for it to unclip during the fall. And now enjoy uninterrupted climbing. Yes. Come on. I can't see it. Come on. Yes. Get up. No. Come on, come on, come on. No. Come on. Yes, come on, keep fighting. Oh yeah. That's it. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, No way! 
hold, 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 hold. Come on, concentrate. Yes, good job. Come on. Yes. Come on, you can do it. Just a couple of moves. Yes, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, fight, fight, fight. Yes. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, come on. Yes, come on. Come on, come on. Yes, exactly. You can do it. Come on. Fight, fight, fight. Yes, come on, keep fighting. Take a jack. Yes, yes. So I think you could have shown some more emotions on top, just like screaming or yelling. <laughs> it was just, ooh, I did it. Yeah, but I was so exhausted. I was not able to show any emotion. But I but thought it good. would be way more harder. I told you that 7A is not that bad for you. Yeah, but I didn't trust you. Do you know? No. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Do you trust me? You never did a 7B. Not yet. Ooh. Who is first? Who is first Who gonna is first? send a 7B? Oh, this is, could be a competition. Okay. <laughs> Let's do another voting. Who do you think is gonna win? But we need to find a fair one. No hard shoulder moves and... Come on! Not that... I love shoulder moves. But I have no shoulder and That's not, not that hard boulder moves. I'm a boulder! <laughs> <laughs> what the... German machine against... Can you show your bicep? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, overhand, overhand. <laughs> Left? Are you kidding? <laughs> Left is even Okay, okay, worse. okay, okay, right, right, right. So, we have <laughs> this. <There's a laughs> so, this was an intro into projecting hard roots. And in the next video, I'm gonna give you way more advanced tips and tricks. And then we will see what happened to these two. And I'm gonna release that video once this video will reach 2000 likes. So let's see who is faster, me editing or you pressing a single button. Now we have to go edit. <laughs>